Magic Springs is the largest amusement park in Arkansas by far. This property is operated by Premier Parks. The park is in a beautiful location and it sure looks nice, but how is the ride lineup? To be honest, it's sort of limited, but there are some intriguing rides. So in this video, I will rank my top 10 favorite rides and attractions at this park. Before starting the countdown, I need to note two things. First, the log flume was not operational the day I visited the park. With its wooded setting, it had a high chance of placing in the top 5 had I experienced it. Second, I was not able to try the Crystal Falls water park. There looked to be a big and diverse slide tower, but I lost a chunk of my day due to a thunderstorm, so I prioritized the dry rides. From what I could tell, the water park appears to be the bigger draw. Starting off the list at number 10 is Diamond Mine Run. This Myler Kitty Coaster is quite good for its size. It is very well landscaped, smooth enough, and you get some laterals going into the helix. And in case you're wondering, yes, adults are allowed without a kid if you want that coaster credit. Number 9, Razorback Roundup Bumper Cars. These are not the strongest dodgems out there due to the tiny arena. There are just 5 cars, and this is one of the ones with a center divider. So there are limited opportunities for collisions. The cars have okay speed and power though. Number 8, Gauntlet. If you know me, you may be surprised I even have a Vacoma SLC this high on a list. This was the first one with a redesigned wheel assembly, resulting in a smoother ride. You still need to ride this one defensively because the bulky over the shoulder harnesses can cause some head banging on the transitions, but the inversions are fast and forceful as always, and because I didn't get a concussion, I could appreciate them. If this ever gets vest restraints, it would be a top 3 ride at this park. Number 7, Looney Balloonie. This Zamperla balloon ride is technically in the kitty area, but it's genuinely awesome if you love spinning rides. Adults are allowed, and the tubs are exceptionally easy to spin. I could barely walk straight coming off this thing with how fast I spun it. Number 6, Plummet Summit. This is a standard Hopkins shoot the shoot. You have a lift hill, turn, drop, and splash. That five story plunge is zippy at least, and the ginormous splash is both a soaker and a spectacle. Up next is where I likely would have placed Twist and Shout. This Zamperla Wild Mouse ran at the park from 2000 to 2012. While I never rode it during its time at the Razorback State, I have ridden this exact installation at its current home at Family Kingdom in Myrtle Beach. This particular one has solid laterals in the first half. The drops in the second half are shallower than comparable mice out there, so it is lacking the airtime pops of the others. Number 5, Arkansas Twister. This William Cobb designed wood coaster was relocated from Florida's Boardwalk and Baseball. This is why the ride is sort of awkwardly placed in the back corner behind the water park, it is the only spot the park could have fit a long out and back coaster. While you see a ton of hills that look like they should give airtime, Arkansas Twister only has a few weak spots of it. The hills are simply too drawn out, and there's even one on the return run where you darn near valley every single time. The coaster isn't too rough at least, and it has good views. Number 4, Hawk. This Zamperla inverting pendulum ride is great if you like hang time. The revolutions are slow, so you'll hang out of your seat on each pass. This one is pretty weak on the positive G's though relative to other models. Number 3, Big Bad John. This mine train was relocated from Six Flags St. Louis in Dollywood, although you'd never be able to tell. This ride seems like it was meant for Magic Springs as it weaves its way through the woods. Almost none of this coaster can be seen off-ride. It's a mostly tame and smooth experience, but that final drop is fantastic in the back row. It offers some frightening ejector airtime as you plunge into a tunnel. Number 2, X Coaster. The only Mauer Skyloop in the Western Hemisphere is a bizarre ride. It starts with a vertical lift hill that bends backwards, fully inverting riders. The transition and subsequent barrel roll have several seconds of glorious hang time. Then you have another roll that leads to a forceful dive loop. You then rock back and forth, getting some extra hang time and weightlessness. Now my issue with this model is the stop. I love everything up to that point. A break grabs you while you're vertical. Because the restraints rest against your tummy, it can knock the wind out of you. 
I previously said Big Bad John was the best coaster at this park, but after riding a few more of these Mauer sky loops and figuring out how to better brace for the final break, I think I'd prefer this in a return trip. Although, this park used to have one other coaster that I likely would have preferred in Roaring Tornado. This was an Arrow Launch Shuttle Loop. This particular one was relocated to Elitch Gardens, but I really like the clone of Experienced in Diamondback at Frontier City. Both drops have excellent ejector airtime, especially going backwards. Then the vertical loop piles on the positive G's as well, and you experience it twice. And coming in at number one is Brain Drain. This Larson drop tower is one of the best out there. This 14-story tall ride offers great views of the park, the woods, and the mountains. Then you drop like a rock. Few towers have a more forceful drop. You leave your stomach at the top and levitate the entire way down. It is one heck of a thrill. So those are my top 10 rides and attractions on the dry side at Magic Springs. What are your favorite rides at Arkansas's largest theme park? Let me know down in the comments. If you enjoyed this countdown, I would appreciate it if you gave this video a like, and you considered subscribing, because there'll be a lot more roller coaster and amusement park videos here at Canopy Coaster. Thanks for watching.